Hi, Stretchy Babes, I'm Action Jacqueline, and welcome to your restorative class. This is going to be amazing. If you're dealing with some injuries inside of your body, what this class is going to do is going to actually help release the nervous system, which is, might be holding on to that tension in your body, which is causing pain. And so when you ever take this time to relax and allow the nervous system to release, you're gonna notice the pain starting to decrease, everything calms down, and it's a really great class to rejuvenate, refresh yourself so you can get back into your life stronger, refreshed, more energized, and that much better. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a bolster, and this is my absolute favorite one, not only because it's beautiful and it just looks nice in my home when it's laying around, but it's non-toxic, organic, so when I put my face on it, I feel super good about that. And so I'll leave the link down below. It's from Brentwood Homes and I'll leave the link in the description. I've got a special coupon code too if you want to get it and get a nice little discount as well. Okay, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet so that I can keep continuing making these amazing videos for you. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start in a reclined bridge pose. Okay, so you can go ahead and bring yourself up and over onto your bolster or if you're using maybe some towels or a big pillow, that's okay too. So let's go ahead and lay all the way back and let's come all the way down. So I'm gonna take a butterfly pose here. So notice my feet are together, knees are open and just find that good comfortable position. Make sure that you're not arching in your back. You wanna have the back really, the tailbone and the sacrum really rooted into the pillow. Allow yourself to just deeply rest and you can take your arms up overhead just for an extra little uh, chest stretch because lots of times we get really caught up in the shoulders and it's nice to open up the whole chest area like this. So just go ahead and take those arms up overhead. Good, so we're just gonna hold here now for a couple of minutes. So each pose we will be holding for a few minutes. So just get nice and comfy and close your eyes and as you focus inward you might begin to notice that the breathing gets deeper and take a big inhale in and a nice big exhale out and as your breathing gets deeper and deeper this is a symbol to your body that it's time to release and time to let go this is your healing time to release, to rejuvenate. Let all the tension from the body melt away with every exhale. Inhaling slowly through the nose and exhaling out through the nose. Just noticing if there's any little spots little sticky spots like the hips or the shoulders that tend to hold on and just give your body permission to release, to let go, to relax. Good, and take one more big inhale in, reach the arms up overhead, carefully close the knees up together and pull your knees in towards your chest. Good, pull the knees in and just give yourself a little hug right here. Letting the pillow kind of take those hips up a little bit higher. Pull the knees in a little bit deeper. You might feel those hips stretch out right here. And just take a few deep breaths in and out, in and out. I'm proud of you for taking this time to take care of your body. I know sometimes it's hard to carve out this time. So the fact that you're here right now is just a really good accomplishment in and of itself. All right, now slowly and gently release those legs 
I'm gonna pull the cushion from out underneath me and come on up as we move into our next pose. So we're gonna go into Sphinx pose now. So I'm gonna lay over the bolster just like this. So just notice how the bolster is kind of right under my chest. And then we're gonna just place the elbows on the ground. And so this is a really nice, gentle stretch for the front body. You notice how the stomach is releasing and you're completely supported here in the upper body. And it also is working the posture a little bit. So we're gonna hold here for a couple of minutes. I really, really love this one because it also helps to align the spine. So those vertebrae are just stacking right up on top of each other. It's a very regal pose as well. Kind of reminds you of like where your posture actually is because we spend so much time hunched forward. This is gonna allow you to strengthen those posture muscles. Beautiful work. is also a nice gentle stretch throughout the hip flexors and hips without being too forceful, but just really allowing gravity to do the work here and you just get to sink into it and release. And now let's add a little thigh stretch. So we're gonna pull the left knee or the left heel into our glute, pull it in and just do little kicks like this to just get it ready to pull in even further as you lift up. Nice, now we're gonna take this left arm up and over. Ah, grab for that foot. This one feels really, really nice as we open up the chest, open up the shoulder, open up the thigh and the quad. So I'm kicking my foot into the hand and I'm really pushing the foot into my hand. So it's pushing back to help open up and stretch my chest even more. Wow, this feels really good. And now take a deep breath into that stretch. I want you to actually visualize that breath going into those tight places. Good, now we're gonna switch it up. And if you'd like to take it deeper with the thigh, pull the foot in towards your hips, just like this. And if you can, you can swivel the foot and the hands to be in the same direction. So fingers and toes all in one direction. Oh wow, this is a really nice deep stretch. Holding it here for a couple more breaths. Remember to visualize that breath going into those tight places. See if you can release somewhere. Release even more. let that go good now let's go to the other side so pick that arm up and around actually sorry first let's kick the heel into the glute a few times just like this just to get it warmed up feel that hamstring also contracting a bit as the heel comes in nice now let's reach around grab for the foot and then press the foot into the hand so you get to navigate how deep you go in this stretch Remember your breathing. One more big deep breath in. Good, and release. Now let's turn the fingers and the toes in the same direction as the toes press down towards the glutes. Release the thighs. See if you're holding on to tension. Sometimes holding on to tension is more familiar to us. And so that's what our body wants to do. And so we have to consciously tell ourselves, it's okay to let go. Give yourself permission to release. And let that go, good work. All right, so now we're gonna move into our next pose, which is going to be a nice wide straddle fold. So 
So we're gonna take the bolster right here in front of us. And we're gonna just lay all the way straight forward. Oh, this feels so good. Okay, so we're gonna hold this for a couple minutes here. Okay, so you can let the head just come all the way down to your bolster. What I love about this pose too is that you can really just sink into the bolster as it supports you. Letting the spine go, all the muscles in the face, the hips, the spine, the legs. And your only job here is to breathe deeply and completely. Emptying out any tension with every exhale. Just letting that tension melt away. One more big deep breath in. Breathing deeply into your back and then let that go slowly. Come on up. And if any of these feel good for you, I invite you to just continue holding them. Just pause the video and just continue to hold. Let's gently bring those feet in and we're gonna take a good twist right here. So you can take the leg out if that's too much to have it bent underneath. Reach the right arm up, place the elbow over the knee and take a nice twist. Ah, oh, that feels really good. And again, I want you to focus on breathing into the back muscles. Feel that back expand, feel every rib expand away from each other as you grow taller. Good. Let's switch sides. Really anchor the elbow into the knee to help you twist further from the torso up. You can take it deeper by pulling the bottom foot in. All right, and release, let that go. We're gonna come back onto our bolster in a nice supported bridge here. So just come and sit right up on top here. You wanna make sure that your sacrum is right on the top. Lay all the way back down. And now we're gonna stretch out the front of our bodies. Make sure again that the sacrum is right there on the bolster and then pull the right knee in towards your chest. So pull the right knee gently in right here, just like that. And you're gonna feel that nice stretch all the way in front of the hips and the thighs, the inner thighs, and just let the foot be completely relaxed on the floor as the knee pulls in towards the chest. So I love this one because it's a really nice relaxing way to open up the hips. 
and we're in an incline, so we're naturally in a place where the body can actually go into a parasympathetic nervous system, which is the way that your body can heal, the rest and digest. So this will also help improve your digestion, help everything calm down. And so just allow yourself to be here in this moment. Remember your only job is to breathe deeply and completely and focus inward on yourself. Nice, and then gently we're gonna take that knee, we're gonna open it up. So now we're in an external rotation with the hip and continue to still pull the knee in towards your chest. But now my knee is falling over to the side. Good, so we're just giving it a nice little external rotation here. Opening up the hip, breathing into those hips. and pull the knee back in towards the center and then let's go ahead and switch sides. Pull that left knee in towards your chest, right there in the middle. And then feel that right leg just heavy into the earth. Feel that right heel down as the quad, inner thigh, hip flexors, groin muscles all release right here. Remember to breathe completely all the way down to your toes, like you're breathing in so far that that inhale reaches your toes. And then when you exhale, empty out any tension that is still lingering. And then gently take that left knee, open up the hip into a nice external rotation. Uh, just let those inner thigh muscles, the gracilis, all of the adductor muscles to just completely release. Bring the knee back in. Pull both of the knees in towards our chest. We have two poses left. So we're gonna extend the right, the, both of the legs up towards the sky. 
and this is one of my most favorite ones and so we're just going to hold it right here so the heels are right over your hips and you can allow the hands to just rest somewhere very comfortable for yourself good and we're going to hold here for two minutes now and this is amazing for circulation if you feel tense in your feet, if you ever get swollen ankles, if you ever just get pain in the feet from your shoes, this is a really, really good one to help increase that blood flow throughout the whole bottom half of your body. And this is really great for stretching out the sacrum, for stretching out the hamstrings. And we're also inverted so that we're putting our body into parasympathetic, which is naturally relaxing every cell and our whole nervous system. So just release and relax here. Take a nice big inhale in, gently pull the knees in towards your chest. And then we're gonna take the bolster and now we're gonna move it underneath our knees for our final pose, which is Shavasana, of course. This one is so relaxing. I love it, the way it feels underneath my knees. It helps to stretch out my ankle or my hips and my sacrum. So this one is really nice. So go ahead and just reach the hands down. Allow the palms to be up if you're feeling like you're open to receiving or hands down if you feel more like you need grounding energy. I like to have the palms up and just think about every part of your body releasing and relaxing from your toes to your ankles, your shins, your calves, your knees, your thighs, your hips your spine, your stomach, your solar plexus, every cell in your body is just releasing and letting go. As the breath gets deeper and deeper, the tension releases more and more. And that relaxation continues all the way up through the chest. The heart opens as you allow yourself to feel the love of the universe, be receiving all of that beautiful love. And as you open your heart to allow yourself to share and pour your love to others, as the neck muscles release, the face, all of the muscles in the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the jaw, the crown of the head, the shoulders, the spine, the pelvis, the hamstrings and then all the way back down the calves heels and toes and just right now let everything go
as you are here in this beautifully relaxed position, you feel the energy of the universe and of your community supporting you. And you realize that you allow yourself to feel surrendered, to feel supported. And it's a matter of us giving ourselves permission to feel the support from others for it to happen and a warm sense of gratitude begins to fill up your whole body as you feel so rejuvenated in your body. Let's reach the arms up overhead, inhale in, nice big inhale, stretch out through the legs and through the toes, feeling so incredibly present in your body, realizing that when you are present in your body, no stress or anxiousness could ever, ever be present at all. And this feeling of relaxation is always here for you to come back to at any moment. And pull those knees in toward your chest, roll over to your side, and come all the way up into a seated position to close out our class. And as we come up, bring your hands to heart center, bow your head down towards your heart as a symbol of gratitude to your beautiful body, practice in our community. Namaste. I'm Action Jacqueline, amazing job today. And remember, if you want to transform your body in just four weeks, download my Stretchy Fit app at stretchyfitapp.com where you can see and feel the difference right away with my workouts. All right, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.